All right, next one. This is a 40 hundred type drill. I want you to understand this. This is a leg lace. Different than wrestling leg lacing, which obviously it tells you that you know, the, the sport of wrestling is purely to control another man's body. There's no submissions in there or anything like that. Wrestlers use leg laces from the back on the, on the ankles and the shins to get someone to roll again and again. It's a very controlling position. But we use it the opposite way with the toes up and presented you get to and we can cause submissions because the ankles and knees are in play. Okay? I want you to understand this. Like the normal Toriano, Toriano type passes that we do where we come to the side. I'm going to do the same thing and similar to like a leg drag where I come to the side this way, a speed leg drag. Not, not a full blown like, like we did in advanced gi jiu jitsu last night. Um, but I want to I want to pass it across. So I'm a little bit of combination of that. This outside leg, the side that I'm coming from. Look, to make it very simple, leave your leg up. To make it very simple, the outside leg is going to pass over the other one. That's what I want. And I want to make sure that his knees are in line, they're even. And then between his ankles, I'm going to shoot my arm. And I gave over. My shins stay where they are. I'll lay back, and there'll be a wall of bone for him to run into. Cool. See, my shins are there. Dang, that was early, huh? That was early that time. He usually goes a little better than that. So I'm pulling one shin into the, into the other leg. As you can tell, I have multiple toe holds here. Right? And I have heel hooks. Right? But I prefer just a straight ankle lace from this position. This is the shin. I don't want you guys to lift him, come up a little bit more. I, I don't want you guys to let him come up or anything like that. See how my feet come up? So what he runs into is that wall of bone right here. I'll talk about my shin. Hey, let's bring it back down. This is just a warm up, so I want you guys to understand this. And you should get hit to it right here, look, Sana. I come through, and instead of the knee on belly, in which I normally go this way, I'm gonna go like a reverse knee on belly. Boom, and I just come here, I'm on both feet, both knees, to make sure that his knees are aligned, and, be, and, and because, remember, like we talked about before, I don't control his foot if I wanna stop the retraction. Retract your leg, it always starts the next joint up. Go here, retract your leg, now it's blocked. This is where I wanna fix everything, and just lay back. Okay? It's more of a shin being compressed into the back of his calf. So I don't worry about him breaking anything right here, but there is some ankle vert variation, toll variation, knee guard variations that can break the joints. Okay, so again, I pass over. Watch your arms. I pass over, pass that top foot over. So I'm here. Sneak your knee in. That's what I really need. Control. This arm shoots between. Gable grip. Shin is not over his thigh. Shin is over his... Uh, sorry, my forearms over his shin, right? To me, this control is really familiar because I do a lot of dart chokes and head and arm chokes. So this vice grip and this three-quarter Nelson grip is pretty common to me. It's probably why I like it a lot. All right, so I'm here, shoot through, boom, boom, grip, bang. Extension, there's the submission. Also have a toe hold here. Or, look, I can finish the knee bar steel. Even though I have both of his legs. For now, I just want you here. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to go 20 times. Ready? One. Gable grip at the end. Three. Four. Five. Make sense, guys? Yes, sir. All right. Ready? Going back. Now, I know I kind of took you out of the half guard and out of what we're doing. I'm going back to half guard. I just want to kind of go back to what we're doing here. We're going to get, in, get into a little bit of of defense. This triangle set up here with his legs, obviously this affords me a knee bar right away because he's not defending. So when he starts to triangle the other, especially when he triangles deep, and a lot of guys, you know, they're always like trying to split or hook here, butt fall down, they're trying to pull, they're trying to kick away, they're trying to do all this stuff, they're trying to calf slice, right, they're trying to do stuff like that. Something like I said, that works really good. It's just splitting the feet. And Sue, so I don't want my butt fight on the ground yet. This gives him mobility. So I'm still sitting on his hip. I have a lot more weight on him and it's hard for him to take my back or move. It's always this far side leg. I'll bring this guy over to me. Now I can try my leg. I can get a foot lock here. I like this foot lock because my shin's in the way. It's a fixed distance. Look, it's hard for him to kick his other leg free. You see what I'm saying? My leg, his leg is over that leg. In the same aspect in which I can toe hold it. Right? So I start to get that toe hold, but it can be a little bit harder of an angle. The reason why I like that ankle lock is because that shin's in the way. And what I mean by that is like, when we have, let's say, 
right? I don't have a proper leverage here because see how maybe I can come past my shin and he can come up and chase me, right, sir? See what I'm saying? So he can come past my thigh. You get that? Same, same thing like as if, I, if he was doing an ankle lock over here. He's got an outside leg trying. Right, he's here like this. The guy's trying to do this a lot, but there's nothing stopping me from causing the pressure to go away by coming forward. And then actually, eventually, I'm going to end up putting my arm underneath swallow my legs out and I'll end up in side control. When you do a traditional ankle lock or you do an ankle lock that has more leg control, even a traditional ankle lock has the shin in the middle, has the ankle, the, the heel here. Now in the leg lock class and in no game, we're not going to do the ankle lock this way. It's way too easy to escape. We'd rather do the ankle lock this way. Okay? But this supports the shin and something to push him away over here. Even if I get this way, I'm underneath his legs, I lock him up, I have leg control. He can't come up and get me. You see what I'm saying? He can't get past my legs. If I go for an ankle lock, if I go for an ankle lock over here, and I'm not keeping him away, or I'm not, I, I can't keep him away here, he gets over my barrier, he starts to come forward, whether he pushes, comes over, comes over the top, scoots his butt out to the side, whatever the case may be. I have a wall of bone, usually my shin, or a foot stopping to make him go the other way. And we talked about before, the goal of leg locks is to make your opponent face the other direction, chest towards the mat. What I mean by that is, you'll see Levi naturally turn towards the ground when I go for a toe hold. Right? He'll naturally turn towards the ground when I go for the heel hook. Even if I catch him or I'm submitting or whatever, just see how his leg is. If he's facing me, I'm usually not doing too much right. Okay, when it comes to this, attacking that lower body like that. Try it. That's not always. Of course, we're just talking a general rule of thumb. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to attack that far side ankle lock. Okay, triangles his legs. It's time to defend. And I'm both hands on the shin. And I just bring it to me. Now I can triangle my legs. It could be right here. I, I don't have a gi on or a collar. He's, he can only throw so many fits here. He can mess with this arm all he wants, but I'll eventually have this arm. I can push away with my shin. So now I'll try and come towards me, Levi. See, he can't get past my shin. It's in the middle of his groin. It's in an awkward position for him. Maybe I'm just not ankle locking the guy. Okay? Maybe I'm just not ankle locking the guy. I have the knee bar as well, right? That we did earlier. Okay, right now we're focusing on the, ankle, the far side ankle lock and the leg lace. Again, I'm here. Or maybe I bring the foot across this time and I bring the other one with me. It's great. It's got the shin right inside here. I'm, I'm triangled and I'm stomping on the ground. And that will help lift my hips. Like an arm bar, or a triangle arm bar, I can lift off the ground. Just like I was showing Richard earlier from the knee bar, right? Let's turn. And I make triangle and bridge off the ground. Okay. See what I'm saying? So that, that frame on the ground can help. Let's go through it again. Bring that far side to me. Ankle lock. Pull it all the way to me. Triangle my legs just so nothing comes undone. I don't want to have it open if I get his leg free. Now look at him. Right? So I keep his leg folded over the other leg. Here, bring his leg folded over the other leg. And I ankle lock it. He might fight this hand and stuff like that when I, you know, I'm trying to get out of here. I'm going to move away from him. Just stretch it out. Overhook. Hit the back of the ankle. Nice and tight. Elbow to you. Don't be here. Here, here. See how there's no window right here? Not like this. I suck that space in, see? That's where the ankle lock is tight. Okay? And second, the leg lace. Pull, and this time I'm gonna pull both to me. First one again. Triangles his legs, bring it to me. Triangle my legs, foot lock. Even if he holds on to this arm, guys, he's trying to defend, he's still not going to stop my arch. Tap. 
See what I'm saying? You can try and fight this. A lot of guys are going to fight the hands and do all that kind of stuff. Right? And if you, even if he does, get this and it's like, oh, I can't ankle lock, I can't ankle lock. Look at that leg, dude. Right? Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? He may have that arm trail and I'll still get that leg. Look at that. Here, like, ugh, can't get it, can't get it. Tap. Okay. Leg lace, last time. Here, pull it to me, then bring the other one with me. Keep the knees together. Make sense, guys? Yes, sir. Ready?